A machine does nothing aside from what you tell it to do. So you have to teach a machine everything that you want it to do, including how to learn. If you want to teach a machine what's an apple, you have to show it a lot of pictures of an apple. It's getting at what the, are the key features of what makes an apple an apple. So our project is to find where all the solar panels are in the US. And we had to write some kind of algorithm that'll look through all the images of the US and figure out what's solar panel and what's not. And to train and test that algorithm, we need to show the algorithm what existing pictures of solar panels look like. So right now we're doing that process where we're looking through the images ourselves, finding solar panels, clicking around the vertices of the solar panel and saving those images. Whilst it's tedious, it's not necessarily uh, something that's uh, pointless. pointless. No, yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Right now, the U.S. estimates of solar energy capacity, especially rooftop solar PV, are highly limited to any type of self-reported information or other government records. What we're trying to do here is to, to actually detect the images of the solar panels. Using machine learning algorithms, we can find out how many solar panels are actually in use, like generating energy in the U.S. today, which would be really awesome. This is great for government regulators and for policymakers to understand how much solar has been deployed. The solar PV industry is, is growing and this kind of data can be very useful for policy decisions later on. So I, I just took my first engineering class last semester, which is really helpful for this project. I feel ready to like do big data problems in the real world. So as a chance to like see a real world problem, do some real world research using my engineering skills. It's necessary for engineers to learn big data and data science. Big data will transform or make a lot of engineers' lives easier. But big data by itself will not help anyone. What you need is a ability to transform that into usable information. For engineers and scientists that are graduating now, having strong skills in, in data analysis will be really key going forward.